Hey everybody, we're gonna do an unboxing. We got some brand new jaw harps from Sean Jones. He's a maker on the East Coast. Our only US maker besides the famous Jamie Bebb. So, let's just get down to business. I have never played one of Sean's harps before. So we'll see what we got here. They're packaged up nicely. Ooh, and I'm gonna save these for packaging harps later. There's a whole bunch of them. We like to reduce, reuse, and recycle at the harpery. So let's see what we've got here. Beautiful wooden case. Nice looking harp in there. I like the stretchy. Alright, here we've got a real small one. I'm not sure of any of the keys right now. You're seeing them for the first time as I am. Definitely meant to be plucked inward, but that outward had it, uh, definitely gives like a nice little distortion to it. Oh yeah, I like that. Very nice. Get this back in here. And on to the next one. There's a whole bunch in here. Um, if I grab one that looks about the same size, I might just skip over it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how long we want this unboxing to go for. Yeah, definitely going to reuse all of this packaging later on. No two. Looks like it's about the same size. Let's just see if it's got the same tone. Um, this one's got a little bit of cool looking bluing on the tongue that the other one did not. Grab my trusty rag. He did ship them nice and oiled up so they don't rust in transit. Yeah, the tail sticking out definitely nice for for uh, gripping the harp. I like it, and it, this cord appears to be long enough that a person could undo that knot and wear it as a necklace. So that's always a bonus. Appears to be about the same size. Yeah, that's about the same size. Let's go on to the next. Ah, this one 
Looks to be a little bit larger. Always use rubber bands at the Harpery. Oh, this is a little bit darker wooden case. Again, the harp's about the same size, but let's play it, see what she sounds like. Uh, I will sanitize and re-oil all of these once I'm done with this video. Those gaps are super tight. You probably can't even see it on the video. This reed is shaped a little differently, so I'm going to play it. Oh yeah. Nice long sustain on there. I like that. I like that a lot. Very uh, easy to play, very soft on the face. You know, it doesn't vibrate through your whole head. I personally don't mind those ones that kind of throw you for a little bit of a loop, but. I also like when they're nice and soft. Got another one about the same size. Very nice craftsmanship. I, uh, like I said, I haven't ever played any of these. Uh, <clears throat> I haven't even seen one, so this is ex excellent. I was speaking of Sean earlier today, and he said he's been building harps since. 2018 so he's fairly new but it sure looks like he's uh, mastered his craft so far I like the little twist design at the end too that's very aesthetically pleasing Sometimes I like to play a little bit techno. I'm gonna try and do this on here. Very nice. I like that a lot. Good sustain, can be played slow or fast. Uh, very little saturation and fuzziness. Can be plucked inward or outward. Uh, the same with this one as the other ones. Uh, the outward pluck will it will distort a little bit, but it's not a bad distortion. It, uh, it sounds really good. Uh, here it seems like we've got a little bit larger one. Let's see what we got going on. Well, and that's about the same size. The reed is a little bit fatter. I'm wondering if it's a little bit deeper. Very nice, very nice. Got a couple more. 
that appear to be about the same size. The tone differences are pretty close to the same. Um, once I get these ready to be stocked up on the website, I'll key them out and see what they come out at. Um, if they're all relatively the same, uh, then there won't be a key selection. But if there's a difference in keys, then there'll be a drop down, drop down choice before you can add to cart. You'll have to choose your key. So there's only a couple left here. Oh, this one here is shaped just a little bit differently. Just a little bit. Not much. Very nice. The craftsmanship is excellent. They're uh, a little bit on the small side, but still easy to hold because of this tail right here. I feel like these harps will be um, good for beginner to advanced player. Uh, I feel like if a beginner were to order one of these, it would grow right along with them as they learn their their own techniques and uh, the breathing, the open close glottis play. I feel like the harp will, will grow along with them as they advance their techniques. So we've got another one about the same size. And the reed looks about the same as the last one. I've got two left here. We'll try and get this wrapped up for you. I know sometimes these unboxing videos get a little bit long. But it's real hot up here without my air conditioner, so I'm going to try and keep this fairly quick. And yet another one about the same size. And the very last one, I will play this one. Just because I got the luck of the draw to be the last one open. Yeah, this is definitely nice. I like this better than the rubber bands. I'm going to have to look into... Uh, Looking to getting some of these instead of rubber bands. I'm sure it's just uh, some sort of, it's like a wax covered twine. Alright, again, same design. Let me just pull that, bloop, and it comes right off. Give that a tug, it comes right out. Get some of that oil off of there. So this reed is just a little bit skinnier at the end than some of the others. It feels a little more stiff. Probably a little bit higher pitch though. Nice clear bell rings. Good melodics. Gaps are nice and tight and even
Beautiful. Good job, Sean. Thanks for tuning in to the Harpery for the unboxing, Sean Jones. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Harp out!